Hello everyone, I'm Riker, and today we are going to be making a solar system from my viewers in my Discord server. So. Okay, let's start with our star, and does it even have a name? Did they even name it? I don't think they named it, but anyways, I guess we just call it Riker Star because no one even named it. So it's the size of Proxima Centauri. Bam. They didn't give me specific details. So I guess we just call it Riker Star and we're done with the star. It's called Laterna and I need to add a planet tilted on its side with rings making it have vertical rings with one major moon orbiting fall far away with a closer small moon with an elliptical orbit this would make it habitable but have a pretty thick atmosphere so it's already in our habitable region so i'm gonna have to put it in the habitable zone i do want to give it realistic again let's see okay this ring actually kind of looks smaller and i wonder if it will not go away it actually looks like it's not going away this time, which is all we needed. Let's continue on with what we were doing. Okay, we need a really small moon close to it. So I guess we will just call it Laterna point one or something. Now I just need to name it, which I almost forgot to do. Laterna Point One. No one named it, so it's being called Laterna Point One. And then a major moon, Laterna Point Two. And then we're going to mess with its visuals, what it will look like. Make it look like Mimus. Ooh, that looks cool. Let's work on the Turna. It needs a thick atmosphere. We're gonna need it to. Let's start off with Mars atmosphere. Then work our way up. That's. Ooh, that's some cool looking clouds. Okay, that's. We're not gonna make it deadly thick, but. Like, not safe for humans, but like, safe for other creatures. There we go. And maybe something like Callisto. Doesn't even matter because you can't really see it through there. This will make it look more unique. Let's see what it looks like without our atmosphere real quick. Hmm. It's starting to look ugly, so. We're gonna want some water, but we do need a little bit of hydrogen. Not that much water. Mmm, that looks... I would say... This looks good, maybe? Then... Our atmosphere. Of course, it's hiding everything. Let's lower our atmosphere, actually. Like, we want a thick atmosphere, but I want to actually see through it. There we go. That's a little decent. Thick. There we go. This looks much nicer. Okay. Make blood planet with rings and a red atmosphere and red land and has four moons named bloody smiley face blood winky face bloody sad face and bloody happy face it's named bloody fingers okay <laughs> gonna put it away out here let's mess with it's everything uh, bloody fingers. Can't believe that we're making this. Let's get some water, and then we'll just turn the water into blood. Let's get some 
water going. Then we need an atmosphere. Atmosphere, atmosphere. Then we'll make it as much as Mars. Two times more than Mars. If we can even see anything. Okay. Then our visuals, red, dark red, bam, clouds, red, bam. Now it just looks like it's really hot there. Like dark red, bam, snow, red, bam, ice, red, bam, water, dark red, bam, Vegetation, also red, bam. City lights, that are also red, bam. There's not very many city lights. Now we need some fellow moons, really small moons. One, oops, two, three, four, Okay, first moon. Oh, okay, we need to move it away from bloody fingers. Actually, let's just stack the wheat these real quick so that we can fix some things. There we go. That could probably be enough. And then let's just get our moons back. One, two, three, four. Got all of our moons. Now let's name them. And also make them red. Bloody. Yay! Blood. Winky face. Bloody. 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 And then with this face. There we go. We have named all of our moons of bloody fingers. Which I can't get rid of these fragments. Bloody fingers no longer has any uh Fragment. So let's get on to our uh, next place. This next one is by Proxima B. Make a planet named Baller World. Make its tilt 160. Give it football rings. Make the planet have a runaway greenhouse effect. I don't because I am both. I both know a lot about space and know nothing about space. I don't know what a runaway greenhouse effect is, but I will add an atmosphere anyways. That's my closest guess to what that means. Let's give our planet a place. I guess. Uh. Let me drag it like something like this because like it's close to 190 degrees I'm trying to um, or wait no that's not what it means let's just try to do it like this because not that smart anyways football rings balls here's our footballs let's just do both American football and normal football And then, let's see. I don't even think there are any American footballs. So, I guess we just have these footballs and a giant, giant atmosphere. And bam. There we go. That looks decent. Uh,. And now it needs moons. Let's name it. Forgot the name. Oh yeah, Goof. Goof. 
363 miles. Tania map map will be Pluto. Let's name it to Lenovo. Lenovo. I think we're good. Let's see if they're binary of each other. Yeah, they're good. So far, so good here. Wait, what's going on over there? Why do you keep on losing your rings? Huh? I think you're all cool. Sorry, Teddy Space, but Laterna apparently does not want rings, according to whatever is happening up there. Yeah, it's going... Oh, goodbye. Oh, what? No! The soccer ball! Bloody ring! What's happening? No! Bloody fingers. Wait. No, blo the bloody moons. No! You guys gave me too hard of suggestions. I have to delete bloody and bloody. And let's turn it to... Guys, at least Baller World, yeah, Baller World lost its rings, but at least it can keep all everything so far that, no, it didn't keep everything intact because we have I.O. over here. And Pause. Okay, hold on. I need to explain some things. I'm Editor Riker, and I have fixed a few things. This may look horrible, but I have fixed a lot of things, as I said, like, a few times. The rings haven't been fixed yet. As of right now, I am recording this. I'll probably make a part two of fixing everything, but Laterna point two was back in orbit. I couldn't get the fourth moon of Bloody Fingers to orbit, which I don't know what led me up to this point of saying this or making a video about this. But anyways, yeah, some things have been fixed, but not everything. Not even the football rings, unfortunately. But none of the moons came off the gas giant that one of you guys made. I don't remember the name, unfortunately, but yeah. Then. Okay. I am, so. At a habitable planet, name it Sykesis with an elliptical orbit on which sometimes it's at the habitable zone. It's habitable, and since it's elliptical, it leaves the habitable zone. It gets more and more uninhabitable, then it goes back to the green zone. Like planet, bam. Eccentricity needs to be changed. Okay, I don't want to ruin anything because this blank planet is going everywhere. So let's just try again. Okay. 0 0.75. One point five. Uh, okay. Perfect. This is as close as we can get this place to there. Then s let's name it Sysis. Next one, by Roman Enjoyer, Billy Bob. B Billy Bob will be the gas giant. Okay, so blank planet, way over here. I'm gonna put it far away this time. Then we're gonna make a really big to a gas giant. Bam! I think that's a little too big, but it's nice. But now composition hydrogen hydrogen okay that's looking pretty good uh 
Anyways. As so many moons. But let's name it Billy Bob real quick before we forget that detail. Billy Bob. But it has so many moons. Okay. Billy Bob has all their moons. What other details? Billy Bob has super powerful winds. That, okay. That's not important for information. And then we got this one. Uh. Name, Pico, Rocky Planet. Okay, it's a very far rocky planet. Let's get way over here. Oh gosh, it's so dark here. I think we want to bring it a little closer. So, orbitable period. Okay, now it has a little bit of light on it. It orbits at a small 1,000 kilometers. So 1,000 kilometers at away from the sun. So one day. That's how close it is currently. Distance to the sun. Still quite far, I would say. I don't know how to perfectly measure the distance, but there we go. This place called Pico has an it has an atmosphere. Put it a little bit closer because of how hot it can get. Pico, there we go. And then it has an atmosphere. That's probably a little too hot. That's probably a little too close to the star. Orbitable period. What? What tap just happened to the star? One. Let's bring it a little bit up so I can actually see it. Oh, that's very pretty atmosphere. I did not mean to make it look pretty, but whatever. Um, I like it. It has two moons. Hydra is the first moon. It has the color pink. And, and it's really close. It's really, really close. So, let's get really close orbit, I guess. Hydra. Oh, aw, poor Hydra. Uh, I guess we put it too close. There's the new place. Hydra. No. Can't put them. It's kind of hard. Bam. Oh gosh, it's gonna crash again. Hydra, not Hydra. I'm sorry, uh, soggy waffles, but we can't put anything uh, around here because uh, how close it is to the star. But anyways, that's Oh, that's actually all that we need to know about Pico. It has an atmosphere really close to the sun. Because they writ written down a lot of things. And if I missed anything, I can make a part two to this. And maybe if you guys have more ideas uh, on how to fix up this system, we can, uh, you, we, we can just make a part two. So if you really want that, you can make a part two. 
just give me likes and maybe comment about if you want me to make another one. But save and share. Uh, the Rikers, um, share on Steam Workshop, okay? Yay! Made by my viewers. Uh, see ya! Thanks for watching. Bye.